Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube NFL segment, I'm going to be talking about the Tennessee Titans officially naming Mike Malarkey their head coach for 2016. Now, as many of you may know, Mike Malarkey was the interim head coach for the Titans in 2015. He finished with a 2-7 and seven record. His overall coaching record is 18 in 39 and the Titans did they lost their last uh, four games last season by a combined score of 127 uh, to 54 now the Tennessee Titans it's obviously it's not really an enviable uh, position really that, that many people may want it uh, some people thought it, it was somewhat auspicious or or it was favorable to, to try to, to get this job because there would be a lot, a lot less pressure uh, given the fact that the Tennessee Titans um, have not been really a great team in, in recent seasons. Now, Tennessee, the past two seasons, has a combined 5 and 27 record. They're 2 and 14 at home over the last two seasons. And Tennessee Titans, really, as far as stats go, about the only thing that they really had that to look at that seemed somewhat promising and auspicious was that their pass defense was seventh uh, in the NFL last season. But I think that's a little deceptive and misleading because I think a lot of that is was attributed to the fact that teams knew that they could run on Tennessee. And really, uh, the, the Tennessee Titans, uh, they finished 27th in scoring defense um, last season, 28th in scoring offense at 18.7 points per game and they gave up an NFL league high 54 sacks and so they really don't their offensive line really is in trouble and this is just uh, something where they're gonna uh, the Tennessee Titans are gonna have to hope that they can get something positive after out of this draft and get some acquisitions now naming uh, Mike Malarkey as head coach obviously is not something where one's really bewildered I don't think or really uh, or really stunned or startled by I mean it really I think maybe a lot of this came down to who was really out there that the Titans could actually uh, acquire they weren't obviously it would have been very hard pressed to get somebody uh, really like, like like an upper echelon coach and it's no disrespect to Mike Malarkey uh, but I mean they really I think it was probably based more on availability and maybe they just felt comfortable just getting somebody that was like within uh, the organization uh, so to speak I understand Mike Malarkey didn't really have an overabundance of talent to work with last season and hopefully they'll get the proponents that they're gonna need to at least be a little bit more respectable uh, this season now uh, Quarterback Marcus Mariota had a very good season. He was injured for part of it, as many of you may know, and which really uh, toned down well, maybe his stats to some degree and would have probably, obviously would have had even better season if he could have actually played uh, more games and more snaps. And they really, uh, they really, I think, as I was saying before about the offensive line, that is something that they'll really have to emphasize, I think, in the offseason they could give Marcus Mariota better protection obviously they could, he could probably be healthier and be able to play more games and do what he he can really uh, and, and be more productive and, and help his team uh, help lead his team to more victories hopefully and this is just a, a situation where uh, the, on the positive side it's not as much pressure as another NFL organization due to the fact that Tennessee Titans have not exactly been stellar in recent seasons. And if this was something where somebody had to go to like the New England Patriots or a more upper echelon organization, then obviously there would be more pressure on that on that person. And really, uh, I think really for next season, they're probably the Tennessee Titans really whether they say it or not they're hoping obviously to, to go I would say minimum six and ten but realistically I don't really know if I can envision this team doing any better than than seven nine eight and eight absolute best I many of you may know I live in Nashville Tennessee and I'm just being fair minded and objective about this the Titans obviously have a lot of issues to address and they're going to have to get some players on this team 
so it doesn't all look like it falls on the coach because it really it's not I mean they did go two and seven with malarkey last season a lot of it was not um, on him I, I really don't believe I mean I'm not it's really it's about getting the, the players to come to this team the problem is when you keep having season after season when you're you don't even finish eight five hundred it's like I guess it's hard to, to give players incentive to come to this team and I think a lot of the, the problems lie in that and if you could start a winning tradition it could perpetuate a, a winning attitude and and really you can start luring uh, more marquee players to come to your team and to keep building on uh, on, on that tradition but unfortunately when you're not when you're in a situation where your team is consistently having um, below 500 seasons then you really can't draw the right uh, person uh, unfortunately and it's terrible that the Tennessee Titans were abhorred in, in so many statistical categories last season and of course the main thing being the wind department being three and uh, 13 and but hopefully they could build on this they were two and 14 the season before uh, three and 13 last season could they maybe is it conceivable they can maybe win six games and go six and ten if they they can get the players in the draft and, and get um and get some key acquisitions to help this team be more competitive the titans had a number of games which were very competitive this season at the end of the season it seemed like they had some more blowouts uh, that were against them but earlier the first half or so it seemed like they had some close games so that is something some hope for optimism for tennessee titans fans and I wish I hope Mike Malarkey is successful in this, uh, this short whether I don't know how long his tenure is going to be and a lot of that of course will be predicated on how he does uh, next season and I just hope he does well and I hope they give him uh, the, the collection of people that they need for him to be successful uh, with the Tennessee Titans well anyway people this is Edwin Lerner and until next time stay well